As host of Craft Wars, I love seeing people use their imagination. And watching them, I was inspired to do my own take on the crafts. And my kids and I love going outdoors and making birdhouses for all the beautiful little birds in our backyard. So when it comes to birdhouses, what would Tori do? I'll show you. This birdhouse that I chose to make incorporates different elements. I have seashells, ropes, twine, that's the nature part, mixing with different elements like mirrors and lacquered gold. That's kind of like a Regency look. I love how they work together. So most of these materials are things I just had lying around. We have some twine, rope, blue painter's tape, a glue gun, gold spray paint, scissors, and a bunch of little round mirrors left over from another crafting project I did. We also have all these seashells. Now the one big ingredient I did have to buy was a birdhouse. Now if you're into construction or really crafty at building stuff, you could build your own. But for me, it was easier for me to go buy a birdhouse at Michael's so I could spend all my time on the details. Okay, the first thing we're gonna do, the shells. Now, you can see in my birdhouse where I've already used the glue gun to attach some of them to the roof. Notice how I start it by putting the larger shells along the bottom, which gives it a really nice scalloped edge. Then kind of work my way up, going to the medium size, and then the smaller ones. The whole time, I'm gluing the shells with my glue gun, which is not only great at holding the shells in place, but it won't loosen outside in the weather. When you're all done, the roof of your house will look like this. The next thing I do is attach the mirrors. Now, I love these little mirrors. They're such a simple, inexpensive way to give your craft some sparkle and make it kind of modern. Besides, even birds like a little bling now and then. Before you glue the mirrors on, you want to cover the tops with some painter's tape. And here's a super clever way to make it easy for yourself. You stick a strip of painter's tape on some regular wax paper that you have in your kitchen, like I've done, and then you use a large hole punch the same size as your mirrors. Mine are one inch mirrors, so I have a one inch hole punch, and you punch yourself out a circle. Then you wanna peel the painter's tape off your wax paper and stick it on your mirror, like so. It's a perfect mirror cover, just the right size. I'm using the glue gun again, but this time I'm sticking the mirrors on in a totally random pattern. And when I'm done with this step, it looks like this. Next up, the twine. I love twine, I use it for everything. I start by gluing the twine and then winding it around the mirrors in a circular motion like this. This not only gives the birdhouse some funky patterns, it also gives it a cool organic texture. Then with the remaining spaces, you can take the twine, go back and forth, or do whatever pattern you want to fill up the rest of your birdhouse. Once you're done with the twine, and you've wrapped all of your birdhouse, you'll wanna take a thicker piece of rope, glue it, and wrap it around the base of the birdhouse. When you're finished with that, then it's spray paint time. Obviously, if you're spray painting, do it outside. You wanna move the can back and forth, keeping even pressure on the nozzle. I'd suggest at least two coats, whatever you need until everything seems covered in your paint. This is how it looks once your house is painted. And now for my favorite part. The tape keeps the mirrors from getting paint all over them. Once all the tape is off, voila, you have your birdhouse. And what bird wouldn't wanna live in this house? Actually, I kinda wanna live in this house. <laughs> Thanks so much. I hope you enjoyed making this birdhouse with me, and I hope it inspires you to make your own. Find other webisodes of What Would Tori Do here at TLC.com. I'll see you soon.